six foot barn door. So we are just about done with making our material list for what we're going to need to finish this house out. All right, let's just, let's talk about our material list. So he's got the list here of what we're going to be working on to finish up our house. Now, I can tell you, like looking behind us, I look at this and it seems like, it almost feels like there hasn't been progress, but then I looked at the before pictures, like the before, before pictures, and I was like, dang, that's a lot of progress we made. And it was slow progress, but I say slow progress is better than no progress. We have made progress. No, for sure. It's hard It's hard for us to see sometimes um, what we're doing because we see it every day, you know? Yes. If you're anything like me, then... Most days I beat myself up for not doing stuff to it. But then when we go back and see it, it helps to be grateful for what's been happening. You know, it's, it's, if anybody's doing this to your house, you already know that it is one of the toughest things that you'll ever do. Yes. And I am just thanking God for the foundation that he's given us and the fact that we haven't had a lot of time to work on the house because God has really been blessing our business and more than anything, we're thankful for that. Um, but this is the season. Usually December, January is our slow. slow. And so God has just really opened the door for us to really try to invest some time in our house these next 60 days or so. And so we're looking at really just now going in and putting it all back together. Really, that's what's I feel like is left. Jeremy's done a lot of the gutting and to me the yucky work. Yeah, there's there's still some more yucky work to do, but there's um, there's a, a huge difference of what you can do when you're budgeting your weekly paycheck to do this, you know? So automatically I've done so many things in this house that I wish I hadn't have done. So what's really taking place right now at this moment is the rest of everything else that moves, bounces, is not properly secured. Um, the roof system in this place was pretty shoddily done. There was a roof put on top of a roof with braces being supported off of a roof that couldn't hold a roof, you know. Right. And I know I'm rabbit trailing off, but we are going to um, do a Weems, JW3 Weems, remodel on this house and and what I say what I mean it by that is all the sheathing comes off the floors in this entire place this was once the original part of the house what we're sitting in right now which is about 440 square feet and when it was built it was four different rooms there was a, a kitchen and I guess bedrooms and a living yeah, room yeah there was bedroom. a living was, room a bedroom, kitchen, and another bedroom. Yeah. So that it was all boom, 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 boom. Four squares in this right. now rectangle. Right. And so, um, but this open space is going to be our space of where we gather and where we fellowship. And we do a, the main part of what we believe God's calling us to do in our ministry part. But yeah, these upcoming <laughs> 60 days, we're looking at getting our electricity upgraded. We've been going off at 60 amp yeah. <laughs> for almost yeah. two years. And that means our well, yeah. our heaters, our... When we first moved into this house, the gas was a mess mm -hmm. and everything in here was gas. And so and we... And when we say everything, we mean even our dryer. Oh yeah, it was... It's... Our... A refrigerator? The refrigerator's not gas. I thought stove. it was. No. We, we changed it out. There's oh, no, it was the stove. <laughs> no, it, no, it There's was no the stove. There's no gas refrigerator. Okay. It was <laughs> the stove and the... Heater. So there's the hot water heater. And the, all the, all the your, dryer. All... No, I never knew there was a gas dryer. I knew it was, yeah. a, it was the stove and the dryer because we had to get a new stove and hot water heater. Okay. We did a quick conversion yeah. <laughs> on that when we first moved in and, and we've been having to uh, be strategic yes. with what we turn on, when and where. Yes. So Electra upgrade is the beginning of, of this, which um, it's 
part of the foundation, which is what I call the JW3 foundation, is all the sheathing's coming off the floors in here, and I'm gonna completely rebuild the pier and beam system inside here, um, outside of what is here now. Is that your complete all framing and subfloor? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna be getting our central heat and AC installed wiring and plumbing the entire house which you got a head start on it but just having to finish that i'll get all of it It'll, i'll have to start that's what i was talking about when i said there's many things that i've done that i have to redo now because um the lord's blessed this thing to get built this time yes so i don't have to stop because i don't have a supply or stop because i ran out of money for this or that you know mm -hmm. it's been a we've been pulling teeth here for Yes. Two years now. Yes. So. Um, and then the sheath tape float texture like. So I'm excited about our um, colored schemes because on the exterior we're doing black with. So he'll do the batten board on the house, but it's going to be black with, with cedar the accent. Ac yes, with yeah. the cedar accents. It's going to be beautiful. And then on the interior, we're bringing that same color steam, like our accent color is going to be the black, the same. What's the color of that stain you're using? Uh, Jacoby bean. So we have our stain picked out and then um, not white, but what, what was your antique white? Yeah, it, the, the walls, the ceiling will be an antique, uh, yes. like a... I guess like almost like an off white, yeah, yeah. and antiquey white. You know the, white. the the light that these Edison bulbs put off. Yes, it kind of makes your paint look antiquey and. Yes, and so it's almost a tannish color, yes, if you will. So, but it'll be it'll appear bright white next to black though. Yes, and so we're just excited that we're gonna get to um, get this done. Like we're, I'm believing by spring, the interior and the exterior of our house is going to be finished, finished, finished. completed. Like finished. we've got our material takeoff list ready to go ahead and place and have it here. And so anytime we're not on a job, we'll be able to be here. Okay. So that brings this up. So, okay. Um, ever since I met Sarah, Sarah was the first person that I ever got on here to, to make any kind of videos with. And you know, it's unfortunate that I don't get on here and do this often enough that I really don't know what I want to say to you guys or how I want to display what's happening here or, or any of that. So it's gonna be a building um, experience and a growing experience. But with that being said, I've had the, the constant desire to uh, show what we do, mm -hmm. how we do it with a body camera so it can show my hands and uh, we're gonna have cameras that are gonna record the entire project being done through this, you know? And, and here's the most important part of this. We're doing things in this house, you know, correctly. We're not going too far. We're going basic, simple. And, you know, Sarah gets excited. We talk about all this and you see all these things being built out there. There's a simplicity that comes with, with what we, we can do. And, you know, we're gonna change up the building scheme a little bit because I don't do anything. My I have OCD and it's 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 pretty cool sometimes, but it's not. Um, the cool part about it is is my mind and body will not allow me to build something that the world has put its own specs on to accommodate an entire world. This house is gonna be built to accommodate our heights, the countertops, um, we're not building traditional cabinets, you know. Uh, we're just gonna do some things that are very inexpensive. We're using OSB for our sheetrock. I hate sheetrock. I can't stand it. It sags, everything comes off of it. We're gonna OSB this place. OSB is $14 a sheet. We're gonna take that OSB and we're gonna throw a primer on it and we're gonna tape, float, and texture it just like sheetrock. Um, it'll never sag. Um, just ways to save money. Sheetrock's only $10 a sheet, yes, but it's a pain in the butt to put up. And I can put up OSB so quick, it's not even funny, and you can't punch holes in it. It insulates better. So we're going to do things like that. But it um, really is about the finish work that makes it pop anyways. Your trim sure. work. The I trim. Mean, but straight lines. Yes. Knowing that things were done correctly. Our mm -hmm. sagging roof that i am mm -hmm. been going over two years, exactly how I'm going to fix. And I've really been going over it this last year, you know, 
um, around this time last year was when we tore the ceilings out of this place and, and my ticker started spinning right then because the way I am is I want to tear all the way back until the rot stops, until the sag stops, until the twist is out. And I used to not have a compromise to that. And even now I'm not having much of a compromise to it because mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, guys, y'all are gonna wanna check this out. I'm gonna tear the ceiling out that's under the ceiling that's pressing down this ceiling so that I can free up. I'm gonna sure up and beam the original ridge of the house. We're gonna be doing some things that are gonna help you guys if you want to learn, if you wanna know how to do it, if you wanna know how to properly read bids when someone gives you one, you'll know the exact work and everything that it takes to take a farmhouse like ours and to transform it into a gym and doing it all for well under a good budget to do the entire thing for. Considering that whatever we lay our hands to do and make correct, that it just increases the the appeal, it increases the value. And I'm not talking about a money value because this place won't be sold. We this yeah. this this place right here, guys. I was the guy that had a rough childhood because my pride, ego, I wanted it my way, the kid, you know, whatever. I, I ended up drug addiction, jail. I don't know, <laughs> a lot of you don't know me. You haven't checked out any other videos. This is new to y'all. I haven't really spoken a lot, but I was the guy that wasn't ever supposed to um, have any opportunity to do anything besides just get by, just get one foot in front of the other carry so many things on my shoulder and I do a good job of taking responsibility and making sure that a lot of things are right. Mm -hmm. And um, with that being said, this is an opportunity that I can't think of anybody else that has it better off than I do right now. You know? Um, God's been really good. And these aren't like, I don't like, and, and it's, it's just such a, it's just a humbling. It's it's a, it's it's going to be a cool experience, guys. And I want to share it with you guys. My wife wants to share it with you guys. We want to share that the Lord is good, even when we don't think so. Even when he's we think he's not listening. Even when we think we're all alone and doing it all alone, and everybody's against us, and when the world's just screaming at us and we can't let go, um, the Lord's still at work. Because yes. I don't I don't, I don't deserve this, but I can see that I'm connected to it a hundred people that do and what it's going to create through it, you know, and I'm the builder of this place and my paycheck is a complete product product. Um, you know, Sarah was saying the business is good and the business is, is, is good. Even though it was run by me for the last couple of years, you know, I'm real, real good at building things and doing things, but I'm not good at putting a price on it. And that is the becoming of what you guys are going to witness over the next 60 days or so yes um and maybe longer we're hoping that we can um get through this the lord's in control of it the lord made a way for it to do it he's providing everything that's needed yes so we've got and that's what we wanted to share with you today we have our material list it's all written out um from paint stains woods the what did you call it and the i've been checking it floor. <laughs> Everything that's needed is on here, and we are going to get that material list ordered and get it here and just... And we want to share that with you, too. Like, if if uh, if I could display this in front of you, you know, I have it um, separated into each room, but it's a basic, you know, concrete blocks because we're going to peer up the new floor that we're putting in. 5H True Floor, which is a, uh, it's a composite um, wafer... Uh, Mm -hmm. OSB board, but it's made manufactured for floors. Um, the vinyl plank flooring that we're using, the OSB, two by four, 16, some 21 degree nails, some trim and some mud and, and labor. And that makes a brand new room, some paint. But basically each um, section is the same, you know? I've never used the OSB to do these walls with, but I can tell you that it's pretty flat and it's got a pretty good finish on it. So I'm kind of looking forward to see what kind of flat finish comes out of it. Because if you guys have been doing as much building as I do, you know that you can't get a two by four wall to hold that sheetrock very straight, you know, and this is a little bit more rigid, so. Yes, and as soon as we get this into our cart and get it ordered, oh, yeah, we'll share then that. we will share with you how much- um, Share the whole cart. Yeah, we're, what we're spending in order to 
um, complete our bedroom, kitchen, um, the exterior of the house, our pantry, laundry room. Entry, um, entry laundry room. Yes, yes. So We'll have an electrical list, a plumbing list, and a material let takeoff list. Yes. Oh, and we're, we're also going to be doing um, the ceilings that I cut out of the kitchen. I'm flipping them upside down. I'm going to do our countertops out of them, and we're going to be doing some epoxy work, so that'll that'll be upcoming. Um, our island in the middle of this kitchen is going to be uh, somewhere around 9 by 6 foot, 50 to 60 square feet big. Don't know exactly how we're going to build it, but I'm going to do it different. We're going to do the countertops different. So that'll be something to check out. We're gonna to try to stay um, real inexpensive, but we're gonna be uh, matching with these people that have spent millions on these homes. Um, there ain't gonna be anything that you could separate from the way they look. So you can cut that out. Zip, scratch. <laughs> Anyways, um, with that being said, guys, join us and uh, come on our journey with us. Yep. So if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And hit the like bell. <laughs> uh, yes. Hey, man, we're new at this. Come on, join us. Join yes. it. Join. I'm an idiot. I don't care. But we're going to do something. If y'all want to see it, come on. Yes. Love you. Bye.